folks, time for another video and shave and review. All right, so I don't know if you can tell from my camera, but I have over a week of growth on my face. Comes in at like 20 different colors. Some gray, some silver, some red, some brown. Got a little dot on my face. That's because I let my stubble grow out so long because the reason why I waited so long to shave is I was waiting on a product um, from a company that looks pretty cool. Um, they do specialize in straight razors, but they also do make a uh, DE set. And the name of the company is Naked Armor. The set comes in this awesome box, which I'll show you in a second. And this is their DE set, which is called their Sandalwood set. Not because of the soap that's in the set, but because they use sandalwood in the handle of the razor and the brush. And there's the set. It comes with soap, which is right there. <laughs> a brush and a DE razor with uh, a sandalwood handle. Now, what intrigued me about this set was uh, the brush really reminded me of my first... Uh, Badger brush I ever bought before my, you know, before my Vanderhagen brush that I had back, you know, back in 2006. So this brush kind of reminds me of my first brush, which is, oh, there it is, <laughs> which was uh, by a company that no longer is in business, which is by my Embroli. So if you could tell, these brushes are almost the same as far as like their design which is kind of cool which is you know really intrigued me about this set now i believe it's a 22 millimeter i did email the company um, i haven't heard back from them yet they are pretty responsive because i've talked to them a few times um but i'll either add it to my video or or i'll put it in another video if i don't hear from them but the knot is like a, it looks like a 22 mil now it states on their website that it's badger friendly now, you know, technically this knot feels like it's made from badger hair, but I don't want to say that it does. I did lather up with this when I first got the set in, um, and I lost, uh, you know, a couple hairs when I did it because that's just a break-in. I wanted to soften it up a little bit, and also I wanted to, you know, to get, uh, you know, very clean for my, for my shave. And uh, it seems to be, well, a good knot in there. Like I said, I don't want to say it's a synthetic because it does say it's badger friendly. So I'll put whether it's a synthetic or if it's a badger. If I hear from these company before I uh, post the video. Um, if it comes in after the fact, I'll put it in the description. But it is a nice little brush. And it, when it slashes, it has this metal end. So if you have a stand, let me just take one of my stands here. I'm going to take my Rockwell razor off of it. If you have one of these standard, you know, razor stands with the brush and the razor, the brush fits on there perfectly. I actually bought this stand originally to hold that umbrella brush. So it fits on this style stand perfectly. Just in case you're wondering. Alrighty. I got all this fuzz on my face. It's been annoying me, but I've been waiting. And uh, UPS was a little late on their shipment. And man, it is hot in here today. It's like a little chilly here in New Jersey, but the sun's been out and the sun's been coming through the skylight today. So anyway, I'm going to soak this while I'm chatting with you folks. I did use it when it first came in. Not use it actually on my face, but I did make a lather up out of it. And uh, it did a pretty good job. Now the set comes with this razor. The head on this looks like it's your standard kind of de89 style head or even the maggots head um i love the handle this is a sandalwood wooden handle very nice and thick and with the threading on this is very nice i'll show you that after the shave but it's the machine threading is very nice it's not like that uh patchouli handle where i have where the threading is kind of rough very nice threading on this handle and it does have their logo engraved into the handle if you guys can see it i put a chroma demont blade in this for today on its first use because i'm very familiar with the blade so i'll see how well the razor shaves so we got a chroma demont in there 
And I'm using the soap that came with the set. It was a little puck that come in this box. And I actually just shaved some off of the puck um, from the bottom of the puck. It came in a little puck like that. And I shaved some off the bottom. I put it in my sash bowl while I was in the shower. And it's just been soaking there. And I'm probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this puck as my pre-shave. Because I didn't use a pre-shave there. Because I really want to see, you know, how good the soap is in the set. So, let's get this cruising. So it's with the Naked Armor, uh, their DE set, which is their sandalwood. Um, meaning the wood itself. And what's also pretty cool about Naked Armor is uh, when you buy a set or any of their products, they donate to charity, which like feed the homeless and etc. But I'll put the link to their website and to their Facebook, I don't know Facebook, but their Amazon pages there. I'm just going to wet my face. And I'm going to just whip up this lather, which is in my sash bowl with that brush that came with the set. So you guys can either just hang out with me for a few minutes. I haven't lathered the soap up yet, so I don't know of how long it'll take me. I'm not sure on the scent of it because the puck itself has a very mild scent. It almost smells like a sandalwood, but uh, I'm not 100% sure of that yet. It's a very pleasant scent and it's organic. The soap does claim to be organic. It does say on the website that the soap is organic. And since this is a shorter handle brush, not a giant monster handle on this brush, but it's perfect size for the knot that's in it, which I believe was a 22 mil. And the brush definitely uh, whips up a quick lather, as you can see here. That's the lather, that's the soap that came with the set which is a uh, organic soap. They do make other soaps. Naked Armor does have other soaps. I believe it's made by another artisan, that Naked Armor, but if you go to their website or even on their Amazon page, I believe it says that. But I'll put their uh, website up there plus their Amazon page link up there. Yeah, that worked up quick. It only took a minute or two. And it's nice and peaky. The brush is very, uh, very comfortable to hold. It would definitely get lost in a large shaving bowl. Like if I use my, uh, Tom's bowl would be a little bit short handle on the brush. But for this bowl, it's perfect. And look at that nice peaky lather. And you can tell there in the bowl, it whipped up some nice lather. Excellent. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to use that puck that came with the set, and I'm just going to wet my face again because I have all that uh, growth on my face. It's been over a week since I shaved. So I do have a little red mark there, so if that comes up later on during the shave, it was already here prior. That's just what happens when I don't shave every two days or so. I like to shave a lot because... I don't like facial hair. My wife loves facial hair on me, but I don't like it. So I'm going to use the little puck that came with the set that I scraped some off and put in the bowl, but I'm going to use it as my pre-shave. It does seem like a very slick kind of soap because when I was scraping some of the soap off with my makeup scraper, it was definitely slick on my fingertips. So I'm just going to rub that on the beard. As so, just gonna rinse that puck off. And it's definitely slick because even on my fingers, it's very, very slick. Now this is the soap that comes with the uh, set, so. All right. Yeah, it's definitely slick, so I can feel it right away. It's gonna be a nice slick shave. All right, so let's go with the their brush, which is their nice sandalwood handle. Their Badger Friendly Knot, which I believe is a 22 millimeter. I'll tell you what, just putting the lather on my face from that shaving over a week is glorifying enough. Now I did scope out a couple videos on this. Ken Surfs actually did a video on this about a year ago, I think. But I said, you know what? 
I would love to do a video on this. Hope so. Here it is. This brush feels great. I mean, it feels like natural hair. So, if it's in, if it's a synthetic, good job on the synthetic because it feels like natural hair. It didn't have any kind of funky smell when I first got it wet and lathered it. I mean, I don't know if you could tell that nice lather that's on there. And that's what the soap that came with the set. It didn't specify except that it's organic, what scent it was. It smells like a, like a light sandalwood. Nothing overpowering. Oh, that feels good to exfoliate those facial hairs, let me tell you. All right, I think I'm good to go to shave now. Got plenty on my face, on my shirt. <laughs> Very pleasant scent that the soap has. And the slickness so far seems to be pretty slick. So we'll see. Got a cool name, Naked Armor. I like that name. <laughs> Just clearing some off the ears so I don't accidentally get any down on my ear canal. All right, so we'll go with the razor, the Naked Armor DE razor. I have a chroma blade in here in its first use. The soap has definitely got good slickness. As far as the razor, it doesn't feel like it's super aggressive, but it also does not feel like it's mild. The feedback is pretty excellent, if you can hear the feedback. And this feels so great because I have over a week of growth on my face. The head on this actually feels like my Maggard's V3 head with the standard aggression. Feels great. And I looked this razor over pretty closely when I, when, I first, when I first opened the box and the quality is really decent. So good. I don't know how to tell you guys. Wow, my sink is looking fuzzy. I got a big glob of lather that fell off right on my shirt. <laughs> and when the handle's wet, it's nice and tacky. Now I noticed um, on their website, I think the maintenance of this razor is pretty much the same on any wood handle razor. Just a little bit of mineral, mineral oil on the handle. And the one she dries out before you put it away for storage. I feel so good to get that off me face. It's really good feedback. It's a shame that Valentine's Day is actually over because this would have been a good gift.
to give to someone for like Valentine's Day or Father's Day or Christmas or their birthday. It's a complete set. I mean, you get the soap. You don't get a bowl, but I think they make bowls too. But I mean, you could take that, uh, that soap puck they give you and just stick it in a mug. Because it's, it's not really huge. Size wise, boy, I really love the feedback that this razor has. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain my sink because it's uh, it's got a week's worth of uh, grossness floating around in there now. Wow, that's definitely good. Mowed that right down. Yeah, that razor's uh, really good to go. It's a little bit uh, more aggressive, I think, than like a D89 or a Mercure uh, 34C. Um, like I said, it reminds me of my Maggard's V3 head as far as the aggression. I do got a couple weepers, but that's because I haven't shaved in over a week, and that's what happens with my skin. But we'll hit that with, with alum when I'm done. But, but anyway, the razor reminds me, like it says, of the uh, Magus V3 head. So that's the Magus V3 head. I only have it in black. And you can tell that it's kind of got that same setup. It's a little bit larger. Um, that's why it's more of like a DE89 head on there. All right, let me wet the face. Let me just put a little bit more water back in my sink. Now that it's not all full of <laughs> all those cut hairs from my face in there. The slickness on that soap is really good. I mean, I saw plenty of slickness. But I could definitely, like, you know, even hit myself up. But I still have plenty of soap left in the bowl there, so I'm going to definitely go back with that. I don't have much, uh, I don't have much left on my face to shave, that's for sure. That razor did a quick job of, uh, this cream is just allowed to turn into greatness. Like I said, I get a very mild sandwood scent out of this soap. Like I said, it, it just says that it's organic. So I don't know if it's tallow or vegan based. It's probably vegan based. But I'll put all that down in the description if they get back to me. I believe this set's around $99 on their website or I think on Amazon. They also make a cartridge razor set if you're into that of the same with a brush and a wooden handle. But they specialize I could see in straight razors because I think like uh, Ken from Ken's BSing and Shaving has done a review on their straights. I know I saw Ken Surfs do a review on this about a year ago so it's a nice little set I think a beginner definitely can handle a set I really like the feedback on this razor It's nice and loud. It's got a great weight to it. 
I really like to catch my neck there pretty good. That's okay. Not the razor's fault. It's just that I usually don't wait this long to shave. But I did want to have some growth on my face to try this razor out, so. Feels really good. Yeah, I'm really impressed with, <laughs> I mean, the soap wasn't a seller on this kit. It was basically the gear, but yeah, the soap is, uh, the soap is slick. And this isn't one of, I think, their signature soaps. This is just a soap that, uh, just comes in the kit. All right, I know I'm feeling pretty BBS here, so I'm just going to end it there. Well, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Just rinse off the counter. I only got, I guess, there's a little weeper there and one there, but that was me. That was nothing to do with the razor or anything. It was just, I guess, as I usually don't wait over a week to shave and... I like to get those whiskers off every couple days. Just do a rinse. Wow, that soap is slick. Pretty impressed about that soap too. good slickness on it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my alum stick just because I got those couple little weepers but I also want to see how close that shave was the alum stick will tell me it'll definitely tell me how crazy I went so I'm just using the Omega alum stick which is just my go-to. I always draw my face off. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just wet the alum stick. Hmm. So, I really don't have any major feedback except for, oh yeah, right there. I just went a little too close. With pressure right there under my by my neck that's what happens when I don't shave after a week I go crazy sometimes got a little bit of stinging over there but otherwise that was a nice shave Pretty impressive with the Naked Armor DE sandalwood set there. Definitely great gift idea. Especially, I can't speak. Especially if uh, you're new into DE shaving. Be a perfect way to get a, a razor and a brush. And some soap to start off with. I mean, you could just take that puck. It's, you know, it's a nice size little puck. You could just take that puck and you can put that in a, in a mug or a basic little bowl. You don't need a dedicated shaving bowl. That's for sure. Just rubbing that alum in. Like I said, I just went a little crazy under my neck right here. But that was my fault. I'll just let that chill on my face a little bit and I'll go over the gear again real quick for you folks. So that was the Naked Armor set. Their DE set, it comes in this nice box which holds the brush and the razor 
and their logo is right there. Cool little set. And I believe there is a great warranty on this product. All right, so let me just uh, go and roll the gear. So the Naked Armor D Razor, which this is their razor. It has their logo on the razor too. I don't know if you can see it because I got the handle all wet. And the blade I put in there today was the Chroma Diamant. And I'll show you that in a sec here. There's slight overhang, I mean, very slight overhang on the blade. I don't know if you can see the gap, the blade gap there. Maybe you can. And like I said, I have a Chroma Diamant. And you can see the threads are nice and long on this. And some of the other razors that I have, they're custom razors. The, uh, the handle threads aren't that long. And there was a Chroma Diamant in there. Chroma Diamant. And the top and bottom caps. This is the bottom cap. Got a nice finish, chrome finish on it. And the top cap has your center post and your two posts for the blade. It's made well also. Kind of impressed with this razor. And when you're done after that, after that razor handle dries, you just have to rub just a little bit of if you want to to keep it nice and shiny and last for many many years. Just throw some uh, either mineral oil on there, or I'm just going to use some beard oil or pre shave oil because it has the same good. I use it on all my rest of my handles. Plus, I have it in sandalwood, so it'll uh, it'll give that handle a little bit of sandalwood scent. Okay, now the as far as the brush. They have their own brush with the set with the sandalwood wood and it has a 22 millimeter knot and it did a pretty good job there i mean that's the soap that came with the set it's very peaky it's got a <laughs> it has a to me it has a slight slight sandalwood scent the scent wasn't mentioned i don't believe on the website but to me i get a little bit of a sandalwood scent on it it does say that the soap is organic but you don't have to use that soap you know you can use any soap it's just nice that it was part of the set i'm just rinsing out this brush so you can check it out and i guess as i lathered that up in my sash uh marble bowl Like I said, the brush feels like a natural hair brush. Um, it does state on their website that it is a badger friendly brush. So, I don't know if they sneak up on the badger and cut its hair without it knowing. <laughs> or if it's a synthetic, or it might even be a synthetic uh, hybrid. But I'll tell you what, to me it feels like it's a badger natural badger brush here and the knot size looks like it's a 22 mil it didn't have that uh funky smell when i first uh got it wet so that's why i'm not sure about the if it's natural hair or if it's a synthetic it feels like natural and it's a uh, pretty sure it's 22 mil but i'll put the description down the link if they get back to me soon so or i'll put in the video depending on when i get the information it's got this nice wooden handle nice metal base fits in my stand perfectly nice little brush let that dry out there so yeah that was pretty much it i'm just gonna throw uh, a little more cold water on my face to wash the alum off Some people leave the alum on. I happen to take it off. And I'm just gonna uh just gonna throw a little bit of a uh 
just a little bomb on there. I'm just going to use my Cremo cooling bomb just because I don't need anything really scented. I'm not really going anywhere tonight or anything. So just going to throw a little bomb on there. I just like a bomb after a shave because I just like to replace the moisture that you lose when you put a sharp razor blade on your face. And I'll tell you what, my face feels so great because, like I said, it's been a week. I thought the product was going to come in a little bit sooner because I was tracking it. And I don't know, UPS was kind of sitting on it two towns away for a couple days. That's okay, it came in. I broke the brush in, at least for a little bit. I lathered up prior to the shave. Only a couple hairs fell out because it was brand new. No hairs came out to shave. Ah, it feels so good. It feels so good to be nice and clean shaven. And I still got lather left in my ball from the Naked Armor Organic Soap. And like he says, it smells like, I do get a sandalwood scent, or less, at least that's what I'm thinking it smells like. My nose sometimes could be a little weird, but, you know, it comes with the scent, the, the, the set, so let me just show you the set real quick. I'll kind of put everything back into the box so you can kind of scope it out. Even though the brush, I am going to hang the brush up to dry when I'm done. But this one, like I said, it makes a perfect gift set. Because uh, it's laid out so nice. I mean, look at that layout. It's pretty cool. Naked Armor. It's their sandalwood double-edge shaving set. And got the box cover. There's their logo on the outside of the box. Good deal. My face feels spectacular. Alrighty, so if you like today's shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, phew, thumbs down. Oh, and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please still subscribe if you're not. Um, we're getting close to 200. When we hit 200, I got a good surprise for you folks. So, hopefully we hit 200 shortly. And uh, I'll have a nice surprise for you guys. So, until next save, Glenn signing off.